Ever wondered how electric charges influence each other? How does your phone work, or how does lightning occur? It all boils down to the concept of electric fields. This fundamental principle in physics provides insight into how electric charges exert influence on their surroundings. From the functioning of our everyday gadgets to the spectacular displays of lightning in a stormy sky, electric fields play a crucial role. Understanding electric fields helps us comprehend these phenomena. So what exactly are electric fields? Electric fields arise from the presence of electric charges. This is the cornerstone of our understanding of electric fields. Let's delve into this idea a bit further. Picture this, a positive charge sits in space. It has a sphere of influence around it, a kind of aura that extends in all directions. This is its electric field, radiating outward, reaching out to interact with other charges that enter its space. Now, if another positive charge were to venture into this field, it would feel a force pushing it away. This is because like charges repel each other. Now let's imagine a negative charge. Its electric field is a little different. Instead of radiating outward, it points inward towards the charge. This is because a negative charge attracts positive charges towards it. If a positive charge strays into the negative charge's field, it would feel a force pulling it inwards towards the negative charge. So, you see, the nature of the electric field, whether it radiates out or points in, is determined by the type of charge that creates it. Positive charges create fields that extend away from them, while negative charges create fields that draw towards them. In a nutshell, electric fields are the invisible forces that charges exert on each other. The electric field at a point in space represents the force experienced by a positive test charge placed at that point. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? Mathematically speaking, the electric field is defined in a specific way. We start by placing a positive test charge at a point in space. This test charge, let's call it Q0, will experience a force due to the electric field. We'll denote this force as F vector. The electric field at this point represented by E vector is then defined as this force F vector divided by the magnitude of the test charge Q0. In simpler terms, the electric field tells us how much force a positive test charge would experience per unit of charge at a specific location. It's important to remember that this is a vector division. The electric field E vector and the force F vector are both vector quantities. This means they have both a magnitude, which is a numerical value, and a direction, which tells us which way the force is pushing the test charge. For instance, if you have a positive charge, the electric field radiates outward, pushing any positive test charges away. On the other hand, for a negative charge, the electric field points inward, pulling any positive test charges towards it. So, when we talk about the direction of the electric field, we're referring to the direction a positive test charge would be forced to move under its influence. The electric field is a vector quantity, meaning it has both magnitude and direction. The direction of the electric field is the same as the direction of the force experienced by a positive test charge at that point. This statement captures the very essence of the directional nature of electric fields. Just like a compass needle aligns itself with the Earth's magnetic field, a positive test charge in an electric field will align itself with the direction of the field. So if you place a positive charge in the electric field created by another positive charge, it will be repelled and move away. The opposite happens with negative charges. They create an electric field pointing toward them, attracting positive charges. Now let's talk about how these electric fields are created. There are two main ways. The first is through stationary charges, resulting in what we call static electric fields. Imagine a lone stationary positive charge. It creates an electric field radiating outward, influencing other charges around it without needing to move itself. The second way electric fields can be created is by changing magnetic fields. This is the principle behind electromagnetic fields, which play a key role in technologies like radio and television broadcasting. To sum up, electric fields, be they static or electromagnetic, have both magnitude and direction. They exert influence on other charges around them, causing them to experience force. Understanding these electric fields is crucial in understanding the behavior of charged particles. And this understanding forms the bedrock of branches of physics and engineering like electromagnetism, electronics, and telecommunications. So, remember, electric fields are crucial in understanding the behavior of charged particles. In this video we have learned about the concept of electric fields. We've journeyed through the origin of these fields, understanding that they arise from the very presence of electric charges. We've seen how positive charges radiate electric fields outward, while negative charges create fields that point inward. 
The electric field at any point in space is a reflection of the force that a positive test charge would experience if it were placed at that point. We've explored the mathematical definition of an electric field. We've learned that the electric field, symbolized by E, at a point in space, is defined as the force, denoted by F, experienced by a positive test charge, denoted by Q0, placed at that point, divided by the magnitude of the test charge. This mathematical representation is fundamental to understanding the concept of an electric field. We've also delved into the nature of electric fields. We've discussed that the electric field is a vector quantity, meaning it carries both magnitude and direction. Its direction aligns with the direction of the force that a positive test charge would experience at that point. This aspect of the electric field is crucial to understanding how it influences other charges in its vicinity. Furthermore, we've learned that electric fields can be created by stationary charges, giving rise to what we call static electric fields, or by changing magnetic fields, leading to electromagnetic fields. This understanding is vital as these fields play a significant role in the behavior of charged particles and are crucial in various fields of physics and engineering. Understanding electric fields is fundamental in various fields of physics and engineering, including electromagnetism, electronics, and telecommunications. So keep exploring the fascinating world of physics.